Right. <coughs> Let's see how it goes then. So, brewing. Uh, well. Yeah, let's uh, do some gardening, see what we can get. These are quite difficult to come by, you can only buy two off Quinn each day. So getting a decent supply of them will be quite important. Uh, on that note though, so we'll be getting a good supply of these. And as ever, these. So, red ingredients to bolster them up. Now these Krakens actually are really good for that. Because they'll give 40 and they've got bad traits, but we can only buy these in small numbers. Whereas these can be bought in large quantities. Those Dwarf Krakens we can only get 2 per day. then when we get to this point um, oh what could we actually put in that's a good question should probably have bought some more lesser ingredients for this yeah you see that's a bit excessive now um, anyway green we want to go with we bought these especially for this Ooh, we won't need much more. Maybe even a smaller thing will do. Ooh. That'll have to be one of those. Right, we're getting four. And then this guy, in the end. Now that's a very high quality ingredient, so we are going to need an absolute boatload of, uh, of yellow to put into it. Oh damn, wow, we've got a Dragonfire Pearl. That's So that's like the upgraded upgraded version of even this, isn't it? 44 and good on the eyes. Wow. Okay. We can fill this up with some nice tasty slime. Um, we don't need much more now. Uh, 18 there, that might, yep, just do it. Very nice. That should last, uh, land as a nice net of ingredients that we can use. Right. That we want to go to our brewing stand. Seriously, damn. Grand stamina potion, three stars. So we didn't just make a grand. Yeah, so we made a grand one that's good enough. Perfect. Superior. Whoa. Okay, not only are they... Uh, so, not only... Are they absolutely excellent... Uh, these things, but... Yeah, so it's... Yeah, now we've got... So... Those shell puddings not only the ex not only the excellent, but they've uh, they've produced like um, what's it super mega ice tonics. Not just any ice tonics. They're ridiculously good ones. I think they're the first superiors of anything I've made. They're legendary quality. So. We have our portions. Three star, we've got three, so we've got 
a poison cure that is six stars my god orc aged grand poison cure my god a grand thunder tonic three stars this is four stars and it's aged um and then stamina portions that yeah aged again oh no they're not aged we haven't aged but oh we should oh we absolutely should absolutely age them up superior ice tonics did we only get three of those from that brew unfortunate oh well Right. A few more. And there we go. Nine of nine, set to brew. And what else can we do? We can also do... It was C and D, wasn't it? Those weird slime pudding thingies. Or did I completely use them all? No, nope, there they are. Only three though, so we're nearly out. So we probably don't want to overdo it with those. Um, on that note though, I'm not sure what we could possibly do out of all this. What do we have an excessive amount of? Um, most of the ingredients I've bought in bulk, I'm trying to feed to the slimes, so... I mean, I guess I don't have to be brewing all the time. It does feel like a bit of a waste, but if I've not got the ingredients, I've not got the ingredients, you know. Not to make anything good. So, besides, we're going to have tons to sell. Um, speaking of... Let's put some of these out. What else have we got? Yep. And we'll do some sales. Sell some fire tonics. We've got a special on today for fire tonics, we'll say to everyone. In fact, increased value for health portions. Petrification cure is not good sell those. So health potions would work. Yeah. But they're not going to sell for that much. Even the grand ones won't sell as much as these. They're higher quality. So we'll sell some health potions. Good to see you. I mean it. I love it. Let's talk money. Okay. We'll get that sympathy for the one turn. So we've got a bunch of cards we can quickly burn through here this turn. Oh, pardon my flatulence. If we could just focus that. Indeed. Right. Increase patience. Press the attack. Press the attack again. Hmm. 
Let's. Yeah, we could do strategic withdrawal. We wouldn't get to the top, but we would pretty much guarantee getting the second highest level. And we'll end it with a closer, get it to the max, get our little buff. There we go. Jumps good in. Right, a chill socialite. I used to buy from your uncle. Talent must run in the family. I've got a good feeling about this one. Let's give him the pitch. We don't need to do a strategic withdrawal, so let's just keep going. They're so scrappy, I love it. I don't see how that's a particularly nasty insult, but sure, apparently it is. I like you, but this is too much. Something, something. Text moved too fast. Okay. Captivate. Great. First the attack. First the attack again. Let's decrease our stress a bit. to do much next turn. Perhaps it wasn't worth the stress damage. Probably wouldn't, but I'm hoping to get a closer. Yeah. I'm looking even. Forty five percent, there we go. I had a dream this place was condemned. I have my doubts, but I thought I'd at least ask about this one. Let's give him the pitch. And now we've got mega tension, and then she's going to stress us out by about a little double, so it'll be eight, yeah. And now's when we run into issues. If we take this turn, we'll be so stressed out... Yeah, that we might as well just... Yeah, we, we just want to close this. They're just going to... I think the gloomy ones are essentially destined to just stress you the hell out. So, best not doing anything with that. We'll ignore the elevator pitch. We'll get the sympathy for the next turn because... Yeah. God knows we're got, not going to get overly too much this turn with... Uh, you know, guard and such. Right. Okay, if we build the paw, we can't then end the turn. He will force us to draw a stress card. end of the turn we'll get a little bit of stress and then he's going to debuff us and make us draw more stress cards we want to end it this turn at the latest we can't go later than this turn and honestly this is kind of what i was wanting press to the squirrel press the attack oh well but we can get distracted it goes up by 10 percent plus five percent for it being a closer card worth doing Next, friendly affluent customer. Let's give him the pitch. See, this is why we're trying to avoid the stress because it's this builds up on you quick. Right. We are running low on patience already and yeah that's already cutting through our guard 
Maybe instead of stress relief, we should be taking more cards with guard, which means improving our relationship with Mint. So, we might want to talk to Mint and uh, what's the face in the forest a lot, a lot more. Well, let's see if we can get a closer card. We cannot. Unfortunate. But we did bump it up a little bit more to get to a 50% bonus. Very nice. Right. That's all of them for now. And look at that. They didn't all fly off the shelves. They normally do. <laughs> oh well. Now, since we've got these O-Caged okay Mega Fire Tonics, we've no longer any need for these, really. Um, might as well. I should probably put some of my old potions as well in here. So that's grand, this is greater definitely get rid of some of the commons. Right, return. Gardening. Thank you. And where are we? Feeding on these. Boop. Lovely. Now, we're going to do some travelling and then we're going to probably close for the day. We might do a few interactions with people, like so we might go and talk to Saffron and Mint, just hang out and level them up. Might be quite useful. We do want to check out the marketing campaigns. If we can get something for tonics, that would be amazing. Not particularly anything good there. Nope. But we can stock up on a few things while we're out. First thing, we do need to get these expansions done. In fact, before we start spending all of our money on ingredients, let's see if there's actually some upgrades we could buy. Now, Muktuk usually gets things in after a competition, but we can have at least we can at least have a look for now. I think can I get another barrel, perhaps? Hmm. I need mushrooms. Oh, if you go to this side, yeah, there's more. Okay, yeah. Increases the price of potions by 15%. Costs a lot though. spend all of our money um, and we will rank up with Mictus Rafter is strange and delightful do you not find it so in all of my many travels I have seen no place like it you've traveled a lot then I have but there's no um, but it is not so unusual for a wal walrus those of us who seek excellence, whose purpose, uh, who pur uh, pursue mastery, 
in our chosen field must undertake a great pilgrimage and mine has brought me here. I don't know much about walrus culture, then I shall be glad to teach you. My homeland is remote marked and marked for its harsh climate, but welcoming to outsiders that receive few visitors. We, and we've heard this before, haven't we? Yeah, they send them out to spread our expertise and dedicate themselves to service in foreign lands to self-improve. And they all go into different fields, yep. And that's why you're here, to show your artistic talent. Yes. And here I shall remain until I have crafted a masterpiece. But to create something more remarkable than, than the land itself, this will be a challenge. I think I have seen this, but I think it might have been from the demo, I want to say. I'm not certain. People will tell you that Rafter is a wild place, chaotic, but in fact the opposite is, is true. It was built with intention. It was shaped by the hand of a powerful witch. Maven carved out the mountains, charted the course of the rivers, and the very flora and fauna have their origins in her lab. So if you say she had the right idea, I think. She had the right idea. I see the appeal of having a whole island to play with. Because he likes that because he likes people who craft things. Right, for the greater canvas, the greater the for the greater the canvas, the greater the impact. This is what Rafter means to me. It is living artwork. Upon its every surface I see the mark of its maker. I like a guy who knows what he likes. You're very passionate, aren't you? I cannot hide my, hide my enthusiasm. I think I should not try. Enthusiasm is not diminished when it is shared. Raise interest by 16. High amount of interest. High patience cost. We're probably not going to be using that. Routine can make it difficult, but we must all do what we can to muster enthusiasm for the beauty that is the world around us. That is what travel teaches in, in the end, to look around with hungry eyes, to truly see a place, and find joy in all that is different and strange and new. Bum, bum, bum. Right, let's go to Saffron. See what she can get us. Or we might be able to hang out and get some better stress relief cards. Who knows? It's possible. So let's do some... Carpentry. So we would need... Coral. Or... Two extra aging barrel slots. For three grand. Oof. An additional shelf, two and a half. And we need this coral, don't we? We need coral. Which we can buy. From her. How convenient. But we'll also need an absolute ton of cash. Right. We'll also hang out. Let's boost relationship moderately and relieve some stress. We go deep into the woods, the trees grow, f grow thick here, and curtains of vines slow our progress. Finally, we come to a shrouded grove, it's utterly silent and still until... Ah! Sorry if I startled you. Meditation and quiet contemplation have their time and place. But sometimes, I just need to scream. Try it now if you'd like. That actually got a decent amount of stress relief. Who knew? Mind you, it did cost two time units. For the amount of cost, it wasn't very good. But it does boost relationship, I suppose. So, right. We will give you... This uh, feather. There you go. It looks like it's from nature. Like a cat bringing a dead bird home, aren't we? 
Hey, this, I love you. And I believe that's all of our time gone in the outside world before we head back home. But we can stop here and give her a gift. I have no idea what she would want. So... Here. You shouldn't have. She does not like mushrooms. Maybe if they've got good traits. Mind you, that had good traits, didn't it? It's like, I think it smelled nice or something, but sure, whatever. Um, I feel like the tastes are probably going to be rather arbitrary, most likely. Um, I think we're probably done then. Oh no, we want to go buy a few ingredients of course ah. now we want to stock up on things in particular like this because these apparently make super potions seriously those will probably make me a couple grand it cost me 900 to buy them, yes, but they're really good. Um, what else can we do? Da -da 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 -da, da -da -da -da. These are really good for just bulk making a ton of money. Um, how much of these do we have in stock? 12 of those, 7 of these. And... I guess we could get radish things for 30. But 22 and we'll get 24. These are probably better. can feed that to the green slime. Um, we do need a few of these. And while we're at it, just some of the cheaper ones wouldn't go amiss. Now right, we've got one penny left. Excellent. Exactly how I like to start my day. Flat out broke. Did we remember to buy food? You know, for ourselves. Or are we going to have to eat those berries, maybe? <laughs> right. Ooh. Ooh, that's bad. Last day before the event. We'll play out the morning, drop a save, and call it here. <coughs> Increased in cust increased customers and enhancers. Good sensation is better. Bad sensation is not as uh, good. Um, ooh, might, there might be some sales on in the shops. Right, interesting. And we've de-stressed quite a lot. We're down to 20%. Nice. Right. How's the brew going? How's our bruise? Let's bottle them up. That nearly leveled up. Oak-aged uh, oak superior ice tonic. Good god. And our super stamina potion, so... Yeah, in terms of the competition, Poison Cure, uh, yes. Uh, Thunder Tonics, 
Yes. Absolutely. And then stamina potions, you bet. Okay. Before we put anything on. Let's remember as well that we have some customization we can do. So barrels. So we only have room for two at the moment. It's good job I only bought two then, so we're gonna buy more. Right. <coughs> Probably wasn't worth the expense then. See, this is what happens if you wait a day or two between play sessions. You come back, you buy some barrels, and then realise that there aren't any additional slots, really, so... Yeah. Anyway. Right. What about walls and floors? Shadow step. Oh. Oh, that's classy. It's that old Royal Navy blue, ain't it? Ooh. Ooh. All papers. Wow, it's like we're in a cathedral. I think these ones will probably go better with that. Yes, that's nice. Basement. In fact, can we even do anything here? Apart from the barrels and that. Yeah, this isn't really a decor area is it right back we go okay looks good um i might set some things brewing before we call it for the episode in fact gardening did i check on my gardening I don't think I did. What have we got? Thank you. Oh, lovely. Four of those. Excellent. Four more of those. Absolutely astonishing. Lovely stuff. Now, let's get just a bit more. But basically, everything so yeah if, even if we give those this one these things they'll still take 60 so we want where are we what was the other thing slime puddings yes I should really grow a bunch of those more than the others but it is what it is oh last one of those right 91C, eh? 91 of C stuff. Where are you? There you are. Right. That should have probably put that in second, but oh well, mistakes were made. Though that said, I could just bolster up now to yeah that amount. Um, and then we need red. Where are you, red ingredients? There we are. And this is why we went and got some of those basic berries. There we are. Although, could put a few more in. Let's try 
that. One of those. There we go. Plenty. That's good. And then we will get our brew on. And call it for the day. So with this, our new trick of what if we just shove a bunch of slime pudding in. stop there before we break the that now can we get yeah we literally cannot get any more in hmm what did we put in last time did we put in last time actually that is a very good question um, I want to say well the this flower and then uh, that pearl from the from the blue but apparently not. So yeah, that would really overdo it. We don't have that much, so I think we're just going to have to... Did we get a perfect brew? Is that it? I think that's all it was, wasn't it? I think we just happened to get perfect, yeah. So the chance of receiving a bonus star, yeah. Okay. Well, I could take that out. I'm going to say and then put these in. But I think we might need um, more than just that. Let's try then. Oh, it's, we haven't got two of those. Oh dear. Oh well. It's just going to have to be that then. That'll be fine. And we can just leave this going. As we can just kind of set this off and leave this going. Very nice. Right. Through that. And we can age a few things. Um, can you age them again? Gonna say that would be a bit weird, wouldn't it? Um, No, I don't think there's much I intend to age up or anything here. Right. Let's return. See if we can stock the shells with something. Anything. Oh, we have. Right. Well, in that case, we might as well age up those fire potions. Get that little bit of extra value from them. Why not? Fifteen percent value increase. 
Yeah, it's already going to start earning us some money back, these. Okay. Air jump. Back we go. And we'll call it there. Next episode, we'll probably finish this day off. I don't think there'll be overly too much to it. We'll probably just need to sell these potions and then... Uh, Hmm, that's a good question. What then? Buy ingredients, chill out with a few people. Tinker our deck. Take the rest of the day off. Probably something along those lines. Thank you very much for watching though, and I hope to see you next time for that. I'll see you then.